Humans and animals have had a close relationship with each other for a very long time. For instance, pet keeping dates back over 12,000 years ago. In this video, we will explore this relationship between humans and animals and we will try to answer the question of why we keep pets. Welcome to Psyched. For thousands of years, humans have formed relationships and attachments to animals. We even keep some of these animals, like cats and dogs, as our own pets. The attachments we form with our pets is reminiscent of the attachments formed between parents and their children. Pet owners will for instance speak with their pets in motherese or baby talk, and they often enjoy cuddling with them. In this way, the pet owner will treat their pet in a way that is reminiscent of the way in which a parent treats their child. Pets are also sometimes looked to as a source of emotional support. Pet owners may feel less anxious and they may feel a sense of safety and security when they are around their pets. Thus, although pet owners may sometimes treat their pets in a way that is similar to the way parents treat their children, sometimes pet owners may also treat their pets in a way that is reminiscent of the way children treat their parents. From an evolutionary perspective, the strong attachment bonds that humans have with their pets can be seen as fitness reducing. The reason for this is that the affection, time and resources that are directed towards our pets could instead be directed towards our family members. So, the question becomes, if keeping pets is not evolutionary beneficial for us, why has it been such an important part of our history? To help answer this question, Archer came up with four potential explanations for why humans form attachments to animals. One explanation is that the tendency of forming attachments with pets among pet owners is a sign of an inadequacy in their ability to form human relationships. This explanation or belief is perhaps most often perpetuated by non-pet owners who may sometimes view pet owners as the stereotypical old cat lady. However, this explanation for why we form attachment with animals can be debunked. Humans have had relationships with animals for a very long time. Pet keeping and the formation of attachment relationships with pets has been way too widespread throughout history to be considered an abnormal response by inadequate individuals. A second explanation for why we keep pets and why we form attachments with them argues that pet ownership is really a phenomenon that has arisen in the modern western world. In modern western societies, family sizes have grown smaller due to demographic transition which has been exacerbated by the breakdown of the extended family. The trend towards smaller household units and larger number of people living alone has led to an increased reliance on pets as a source of attachment. This explanation is however not satisfying. While there indeed seems to be a trend towards more frequent attachment with pets among those with fewer social contacts, this explanation does not explain why humans form attachment with pets to begin with. This is because human relationships with pets have existed historically for over 12,000 years and have existed across all cultures. A third explanation for why we keep pets is that pet ownership brings along several benefits that are evolutionary adaptive. For instance, research shows that pet owners show significantly reduced risks for cardiovascular disease. They also show less intense reactions to stress and by interacting with their pet like by petting it, pet owners show reduced heart rate and blood pressure which are indicators of its relaxing effects. For these reasons, it could be argued that pet keeping evolved because it is evolutionary adaptive as it contributes to an individual's well-being by ameliorating stress. The issue with this explanation is that it is unknown whether the health benefits that come from pet ownership is enough to improve human reproductive success. It is also unknown whether the health benefits outweigh the evolutionary cost of keeping pets. These questions are very difficult to answer. What is clear, however, is that pets, particularly cats and dogs, have benefited tremendously from being pets in terms of reproductive success. 
It is argued by Archer that pets have benefited from humans in this socially symbiotic relationship more so than humans have benefited from them. This argument by Archer led him to come up with his own explanation for why humans keep pets. According to his explanation, there is an unequal social symbiosis between humans and pets, and we humans keep pets around because we are manipulated by them. When using the word manipulation, Archer is not arguing that pets make a conscious effort to manipulate and take advantage of humans. Rather, pets have certain behavioral and physical features that make our interactions with them feel very rewarding. However, these positive and rewarding feelings are not evolutionary adaptive for us, as these behavioral and physical features were initially evolved to aid intra-human relationships, particularly so with our children. These features of pets include infant or childlike body features such as having a cute face, and emotional reactions such as showing happiness towards us. Although plausible, this explanation has issues as well. For instance, the explanation does not account for the variability of pet owners and their reasoning for keeping a pet. It also doesn't account for the variability of pets either, as it only focuses on cats and dogs. So, why do we keep pets? Well, as illustrated by the explanations provided above and their pitfalls, this question is not easy to answer. Needless to say, the relationships between humans and pets is quite complex. There are likely multiple different reasons for why we keep pets, and the explanations provided throughout this video may all play a role to some extent. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video.